Hello Makers, welcome to the AGF channel. My name is Melly, and I've been sewing with Pat Bravo's brand new collection for AGF called Nuncia. This collection is created based on an inspiring mother and daughter relationship and pays tribute to Pat's mother. In this collection, you will find gorgeous florals, paisleys, and leopard prints with two distinctive color palettes. In today's tutorial, we'll be sewing up the continental quilt block. Learn how to make half square triangles using the four at a time method and eight at a time method. So hop onto your sewing machines and let's get started. If you're new to our channel and love learning new quilting techniques, don't forget to subscribe below to watch more fun sewing tutorials like this one. Check out the description box below and download a printable PDF with all the cutting requirements and step-by-step -step instructions. To make half square triangles using the four at a time method, take a four inch square from fabric D and C. Place them right sides together and sew around your piece at one fourth inch seam allowance. Trim your piece in half on both diagonals to reveal four half square triangles. Square up your units to two and a half inches. To make the rest of your half square triangles, we are going to use the eight at a time method. Take a five and three fourth inch square from fabric E and F. Place them right sides together and draw two diagonal lines from corner to corner with the fabric marking pen. Sew on each side of the line at one fourth inch seam allowance. Trim your block diagonally on the lines you drew, and then trim your block vertically and horizontally in half to reveal your remaining half square triangles. Trim your units to two and a half inches. To create your corner blocks, you will need the following units. Two EF half square triangles, one CD half square triangle, and one two and a half inch square from fabric F. Place them out following the block design and sew up four of these blocks. To create the center strip of your block, sew a one and a half inch square from fabric B and a one and a half by two and a half inch strip from fabric B to each side of a one and a half inch square from fabric A. Make two of these units. To create the middle strip of your block, sew the remaining units together to create one long strip. To make your top and bottom rows, sew a corner block unit to each side of your center strip unit. Sew your rows together matching up seams and your continental block is complete. Make sure to share your quilt block creations made with AGF fabrics on social media using the hashtag AGF quilt block collection. Our continental quilt block is complete and I love the patchy starburst design. So for more fun sewing projects made with Nuncia fabrics, make sure to check out our new fabric lookbook. The link will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the AGF channel. And I'll see you in the next quilt block tutorial. Until next time, happy sewing.